Okay, so next problem, page 863, number 16. You need to factor the sum or difference of cubes. So the problem is x to the third power plus 27. And to be able to do it, you have to use the, the formula a to the third power plus b to the third power, which is the same as a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. All those formulas are in your textbook on page 860. So yes, you can have them uh, in front of you during the test. Okay. So how are we going to factor? First, to use that formula, you need to figure out what is a. So to figure out what is a, take your first expression, which is um, x to the third power, and just take the cube root of your first expression. And cube root and exponents, if they are the same, they undo each other, so you end up with x. So a is equal x. And then to figure out what is b, you're going to do the same thing. Take the second expression, which is um, 27, and just take the cube root of 27. So the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. So b is equal to 3. Okay. So now when you know what is a and what is b, you can just use the formula. So a plus b, so in our case, will be x plus 3 times a to a second power, which is x squared, minus a times b. So in our case will be x times 3, which is 3x, plus b to a second power, which is 3 to a second power. So simplify that, and that will give you x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. That's your final answer. So again, I use the formulas from page 860. Next problem, page 872. Page 872, number 14. 872, number 14. Um, solve equation using zero product rule. So you need to solve it using zero product rule. So this is number 14, x minus 5 times x plus 1 equals 0. So zero product rule, since you have a product of two factors, you're solving two equations. x minus 5 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. So we're getting x equals 5 as the first solution. Here we'll end up with um, x equal negative 1 as the second solution. So the solution set is, and we're just going to list two solutions, negative 1, 5. Okay, that was 872, number 14. Next one, it's um, 834, page 834, number 18. A34, number 18. Um, okay, uh, factor completely. Factor completely. So we have y square plus 6y plus 18. Okay, uh, since this is quadratic, so try AC method. Use AC method. And this is the easy case of AC method. So since A is equal 1, no worry about GCF. Okay. Uh, so let's see if we can factor A times C 
again a is equal one b is equal six c is equal 18. so a times c will give you one times 18 which is 18. find two integers which by multiplication gives you 18 and the same two integers by addition will give you b which is six so see if something uh it's going to work so i'm trying to figure out 18. so let me write the combinations of 18. you have 18 right so 18 is the same as 1 times 18. 18 is the same as 2 times 9. Then 18 is the same as 3 times 6. And technically that's it. Okay, so let me see if any of that is going to work. Um, so in the second condition, 1 times 18, let's see if 1 and 18 will work. 1 plus 18, it's not equal 6. So it's not going to work, okay? So that's not correct. Now I'm checking two and nine. So two plus nine won't give me six. So it's not going to work either. So now I'm checking three and six. Let's see if three plus six will give me a six, which is not correct. So it's not going to work. Okay, since I can't find two integers, which product will give you 18 and some will give you six, that means y squared plus six y plus 18 is prime. You cannot factor, okay? So we cannot factor this one. That was 834 number 18. Next, page 857, uh, number 17. 857, number 17. Okay, uh, factor each binomial completely. Okay, and uh, we're doing number 17, which is 3w square minus 300. Okay, so to factor this one, you have to find the GCF between 3w square and 300. So GCF between 3 and 300 will be 3. And you have w square, but the second expression doesn't have a w. So technically the GCF is only 3. So we factoring GCF first, okay? And now we have to fill in the parentheses. So you take the first original expression and you divide by GCF, which is three, and that will give you W square. So W square will be inside of the parentheses. Then you take the second original expression, which is negative 300, divide by GCF, which is three, and that will give you negative 100. So that negative 100 will be in the parentheses. So the final answer, it's three times W square minus 100, okay? Okay, next one. So that was 857 number 17, 834 number seven page 834 number seven so that's the next one page 834 number seven 834 number seven also factor completely uh, you have x square plus 10x plus 16, okay? So to factor this one, use AC method. This is easy factoring. Since A is equal one, you're going to have X plus first integer 
times x plus second integer. So you don't need to worry about factoring out GCF, okay? So A, it's a coefficient in front of x squared, which is 1. B, it's a middle coefficient, which is 10. C, it's a number, which is by itself. So first you multiply A times C, you're getting 1 times 16, which is 16. Then you're looking for two integers, which by multiplication gives you AC, which is 16. And you're looking for the same two integers, which by addition gives you middle coefficient, which is 10. Uh, so you need to check what's going to work here. 8 and 2 will work. a times 2 is 16, a plus 2 is equal to 10, so definitely work. So then your final answer will be x plus first integer, which is 8, times x plus 2. So that's the final answer. Like you see, both parentheses, there's no way that you can find GCF because there is no GCF. So that's our final solution. Okay, next one. That was 834 number 7. So now I'm moving to 844, page 844, number 30, 844, factor completely. And be sure to factor GCF if exist. So we're going to factor completely. Okay, uh, number 30. So you have 3 C square minus 33c plus 72. So in this problem, they asking you, be sure to factor out GCF first. Okay, so let me see if I can find GCF. So GCF in between 3, 33, and 72, it's equal 3. So we're going to factor that GCF first. That's 3. That's your GCF times. And again, we're going to fill in the parentheses. So you take your original expression, which is 3c squared. You divide by GCF, which is 3, and that will give you c squared. Then you take the second expression, which is negative 33c divided by 3, and that will give you negative 11c. And then you take 72 divided by 3, and we're getting 24. Just double check. Plus 24. So 3c squared minus 33c plus 72. It's equal 3 times c squared minus 11c plus 24. Why makes sense to factor GCF first? Because look what happened. That quadratic equation, which you have in the parentheses, it's much, much easier to factor. So next, factor c squared minus 11c plus 24 using ac method. Okay, so a is equal 1, b is equal negative 11, c is equal 24. So a times c is equal 1 times 24, which is 24. 
next what we're doing we're looking for two integers which by multiplication gives you ac which is 24 and the same two integers by addition has to give you b which is negative 11. so we're going to check what's going to work negative 8 and negative 3 should work negative 8 negative 3 negative 8 and negative 3. let's see negative 8 times negative 3 positive 24 and when you add them together you're getting negative 11. so it works and since again since a is equal 1 so you creating in this so that's the easy example of factoring so you're creating your parenthesis which will be c plus first integer times c plus second integer okay so in our case that's c squared minus 11c plus 24 we're going to rewrite using our factors which will be c plus the first integer plus negative 8 so if you're adding negatives you're just putting negative c minus 8 times c plus negative 3 we just put as a 3 c minus 3 and we have it so don't forget to go back to your original problem at the beginning Okay, when we factor that GCF, so uh, three, just put it in green, three C square minus 33 C plus 72, it's equal to GCF, which is three times. And then you're going to use those two parentheses because you need to factor completely c minus 8 times c plus um, c minus 3 and that's it that is your final answer okay so next one so that was page 844 number 30 872 number 18 872 so review next one is page 872 number 18 okay solve each equation so solve it you have 2 times x minus 7 times x minus 7 equals 0. So since you have product of factors, how you can solve it? Use zero product property. Property. So all the time when you have factors you're using zero product property, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to divide all by 2 so that doesn't bother you guys cancel cancel and this is just x minus 7 times x minus 7 equals 0 and solve two equations x minus 7 equals 0 and x minus 7 equals 0 you're getting x equals 7 x equals 7. since you're getting the same solution which repeats twice you're just writing your solution once so solution is x equals 7 that's it because it repeats twice so 872 number 18 next it's 872.29 page 872 number 29 solve each equation So 29, you have 2 Q square 
minus 7q equal 4. So first what you want to do, this is quadratic equation, you always want to have a 0 on the right side, so subtract 4 from both sides. So we're having 2q squared minus 7q minus 4 equals 0. Then you're checking if you can factor out GCF. Since there is no GCF, we have to skip that step. So what you will need to do next, factor using AC method. A is equal to B is equal negative 7, C is equal negative 4. So A times C is equal to 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8. Uh, so what you need to do, you need to find two integers, which by multiplication gives you AC, which is negative 8. And the same two integers by addition will have to give you B. B is equal to negative 7. So you have to check what's going to work. Um, okay. So let's see. Okay. Um, negative 8 and 1 should work. Okay. So negative 8 and 1. Negative 8 plus plus 1. So let's check. Negative 8 times 1, it's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 1 will give you negative 7. How I know that one of them has to be negative? C, it's negative, and B, it's negative. Okay, so that was the type of lecture which I record when you solving the equations by trial and errors. Okay, so in this example, you need to watch out. Okay, be careful. Okay, because a is equal to, so what you're going to do, you're going to create two parentheses, 2q plus your first integer, which is minus 8 times 2q plus your second integer, which is plus 1. Okay, so that's the example when you guys creating, and I teach you that, um, a, when you have ax squared plus bx plus c, and a, it's not equal 1. So you're creating that ax plus first integer times ax plus second integer. Okay, so we have to be careful with that. So we have 2q minus a times 2q plus 1. However, this is when you have a case when a it's not equal 1, you need to factor out GCF from each parenthesis. So we're having 2q minus 8. The GCF here, it's 2. So we're going to factor 2 out. And we have 2q divided by 2, which is just q. So having q in the parentheses. And then you take the second expression, which is negative 8 divided by GCF. That will give you negative 4. OK. And the way I teach you that algorithm, you're going to ignore the GCF. So to it's ignore it, and you're only going to keep, oops. You're only going to keep Q minus four, okay? So that's it, just keep this one. Um, you're going to do the same thing with the second factor which is 2q plus 1. Find the GCF if it exists, since there is no GCF. So keep original, which is 2q plus 1. So going back right here, 
to this problem because we're still working on factoring 2q squared minus 7q minus 4 equals 0. We're trying to factor this one. Okay. Okay, it will be right here. 2q squared minus 7q minus 4. 2q squared minus 7q minus 4. We're trying to solve this one. We already factored 2q squared minus 7q minus 4. Again, 2q squared minus 7q minus 4. Rewrite that with your factors which is q minus 4 times 2q plus 1. And that's the one which we kept. Okay, so we're solving. So now we're going to rewrite the original problem using factors, which is q minus 4 times 2q plus 1. Make that equal 0. So now you're ready to use zero product property. Take each factor and make it equal zero and solve it for Q. So here we're adding four. So we're getting Q it's equal four. Here we subtract one and we're getting two Q it's equal negative one. Then divide each by two and you're getting that Q it's equal negative one half. So we have two solutions. The solution set is, and we're going to list them, negative one half and positive four. So that was pretty long problem, okay? Um, that was problem from page 872, 29. So next one, page 844. 844, number 41. 844, 41. 844-41, uh, GGG, what they want you to do here. Factor the higher degree polynomial. Okay, 41. We have 2x to the 4 power minus 7x squared minus 15. So your exponents are multiples of 2. So you're factoring this one using AC method. So first, factor out GCF. In this case, there is no GCF. So we're skipping that step. So we're going to use so second step is factor using AC method. Again, so we have 2x to the 4 power minus 7x squared minus 15. A, it's 2. B, it's negative 7. C, it's equal negative 15. So what we're going to do, we're going to multiply a times c. We're getting 2 times negative 15, which is negative 30. We're going to find two integers, which will give you ac, which is negative 30. And the same two integers by addition has to give you b, which is negative 7. So we're going to check what's going to work. Okay, uh, 
6 times 5, no, uh, negative 7, 15 times 2, 3 and 10, 3 and 10, so it's going to be negative 10 and positive 3, negative 10 and positive 3, okay, so now third, create two factors, a, but be careful here. You always check what variable you have in the middle. So you have x squared. So it's going to be a x squared plus first integer times a x squared plus second integer. Okay. So like you see your exponents x to the power of four. So it has to be split x to the power of 4, split in half, it's x squared and x squared. Okay, so we're going to rewrite that as 2x squared minus 10 time, times 2x squared plus 3. Okay, don't forget that this is the example when a is equal to, so we need to factor out GCF from each parenthesis. And ignore it. So don't forget, okay? When A is not equal one, you always do that step. So the first parenthesis is two X squared minus 10. Uh, GCF here it's equal to two, so we're going to factor two out, and that will just give you x squared minus five. You ignoring that GCF, and we only keeping x squared minus five. So again, keep only x squared minus five. Okay, that's it. Uh, then you take the second parenthesis, which is two x squared plus three. Here there is no GCF, so keep original, which will be 2x squared plus 3. And here we go, x squared minus 5 and 2x squared plus 3, so we will go back to our original problem which was uh, 2x to the power of 4 minus 7x squared minus 15. So 2x to the power of 4 minus 7x squared minus 15. To factor that, we end up with x squared minus 5 times 2x squared plus 3. And that's our final answer. Okay, that was 41. Next is page 828. Okay, I think I will stop here and create the third video. So the video is not so long and doesn't take too much time to upload on the YouTube. Um, so let me stop. Stop recording.